The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi everyone, Bowser Chapman here on this Tuesday, November the 23rd. Hmm, just let's see, 23rd, then you get the 24th, and then you get the 25th. Hmm, interesting day coming up here on Thursday. All right, let's go to the markets. We're looking at the Dow. Uh, I'm looking at this as if to say the Dow has a chance to just have a little bit of a rally to play catch up to the upside after being down so severely, going from 36,565, um, where we said that doji candle looked like it made a top, and we played it that way. So we're looking at this um, H pattern, lowercase H pattern that went to a uh, the lower low, it went to a one to one to the downside. It dropped to the 35,555 area, I believe it was. Yep, 35,555. And yesterday's low was 45. So that's the leg C to the downside. Time to just attempt a little bit of a rally. But most importantly, the Dow is up 51 at 35,671. My suspicion is. That we've made some kind of a top. I know a lot of people are not talking about this. They're talking about higher highs to come in this period. I think maybe a little later on, maybe a, a few weeks' time, a couple of weeks' time, we'll get a very strong bounce. But in the meantime, what I am looking at is the Dow is up only 41 points. The S&P made an all-time high yesterday. I didn't type that in. Let me do that right now. Yesterday's high, well, actually, I had typed it in, but I had to shut down and not say 70 47 43 83 47 43.83 i think that's correct <laughs> let me just check that again well wow, i lost that in a few seconds there right 47 43 83 correct and i'm not making it red i'm just saying there's a chance now that we're looking at that spiral to an e with technicals, look at this, I love to do this. It only, it's only good for a few moments, but look at this. The high that was made at 47.18.50, right there on, was it the 7th? On the 5th, on the 5th of November, all-time high. Two doji candles, pulls back to the nine-period exponential moving average. Remember, I've been talking about this for some time. I've been saying until the nine starts to cross the 14-period moving average, that's usually very good action. Well, we went to a higher high after one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. took 11 bars, and then pop, goes to a higher high. And then we had that. And I said to subscribers to my opening call yesterday, watch out for a sudden intraday reversal. We've been planning on that. 47.43.83 was the high yesterday, all-time high. Look at the technicals. The MACD was already turning down. Stochastic was at 80%. Now it's at 70%. On balance volume was already turning down. What I had said was that the 9 was still above the 14. And even as we speak, that's still a good sign. Aha. Wait a minute. With the uh, weekly chart went to the inside uh, track reversal area and has pulled back a, t a touch it's a weekly chart we have to wait until friday close at four o'clock uh, wait are we open yeah i think markets open friday i believe we're not open friday anyway i'm taking the day off friday regardless uh with family here yeah, that's my opportunity um so the s and is down six at 46.77 really interesting why because look at the q q q it's the same thing. The high that was made at 400.99 on the 5th of November, all time high, was a peak. See, I said, I, no matter how I count it, I can't make that. I can't make it anything but a C. And there should be a D to come. Well, yesterday we got the idea at 408.71. Here again, the MACD was way stronger back on the 5th of November than it was yesterday. Stochastic has now gone under 80% to 78%. The on-balance volume is still very good. Pull back. Nine-period moving average, still fabulous above the 14-period moving average. But there's a chance, and I'm, we're playing it for my subscribers to my opening call. There's just a chance that we've got something going on here that's a little different. And what do I say? Normally, 
bottoms are made in unison. Within a day or two, you get a very powerful bottom. And one of the reasons is that you get this huge move up in the volatility index, this hysterical move, and that just says, you know what, I'm done on the um, emotional part. That's how the gauge of the VIX index is basically interpreted. And I'm going, going back down. This is the VIX speaking. At the same time, you've got a low in the market, but tops are made sequentially most of the time. Short-term tops, at least, and, and very often major tops, are made sequentially. They don't come at the same time because they've all got different ingredients of strength. They've got different ingredients of weakness. And, and as it comes together, so each one pulls back in its own time. Well, the volatility index, and, and Nick, you want to know more about it. Uh, Basil, would you please go over on your program your views regarding the VIX possibilities, the extending leg B. Thank you very much, Nick. So, Nick, what I'm going to say to you is, yes, it is a leg B. But the speed with which we've gone from 14.73 quickly to the 19.90 high of the 10th of November kind of achieved something. Not everything, but achieved something. Mostly to do with the Dow and the, and the Russell 2000, even though it's actually it comes from the New York Stock Exchange, the, future, the um, options and futures, etc. But look at this, the next rally, which went from the 16, actually just 16.03 on the 16th of November to today's high of 20.84 comes from a different source. So let me just do this real quickly. I've said, let's try to think of Vixie, Dolly, Bondi, and Goldie as separate entities. There's a moment where at least three out of the four come together. But at this particular point, look what we've got. We've got the volatility index telling us that now we start to make higher highs and higher lows. How do you trade it? That's something completely different. And I usually say, look at this, the UVXY is barely moved, oh, yeah, percentage-wise, and if you had options, that's a big move. But it's now down 8 cents at 16.22. It's really tough to play the volatility index. And I've decided over the last, wow, for quite a while, a couple of years now, that we seldom actually go there. And one of the reasons is you could time it perfectly for a market pullback, and the fix just doesn't do a thing. You can time it perfectly to say, I'm going to wait. And suddenly, out of the blue, the VIX has a big day. It's just really tough to play. I mean, the UVXY. So as insurance at 16.24 on the UVXY, that is the ultra uh, VIX short-term trading vehicle, ProShares, I'm, I'm just going to say, you can you can play it, but you've got to have both patience and money because you could be absolutely correct and the thing just doesn't budge. And then you can just say, I, I've had it, I'm selling, and that second, within I've seen this happen, within seconds of you getting rid of the volatility index uh, the trading vehicle as a trading vehicle, whoosh, it suddenly takes off. So all I can say is when you're talking about timing, you need to have specific timing models. I have timing models, and I still don't like to play the fix. I would rather be playing two or even three times the short positions of an index because I, can, I don't feel that I can handle it well, but I have a better understanding. So your timing is absolutely perfect. Do buy it, yeah. If you have a, if you have a three point stop on the, on the UBXY, I think you're going to do very well, but that's big. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. We're back. And I, what I was saying is that you and some very good comments in the in the den. One of them is that you got to you got to understand you got you're dealing with contango. That's the the numbers that are the, the outer months. Um, is it lower or higher than the present price, etc. Um, and one comment by G7 that was made that I really agree with is that if you can do it, rather use the options. Because it gives you time. You don't have to worry about intraday swings. You just say, this is my price. And if it goes to a certain level, I'm out. Or at least I'm sorry to take some off. That's a much better way to do it. So if there are $16 call options, and I would even go to December. In this case, you can't do November. We're done last Friday. But I'd go to December. I wouldn't even go to January. I'd go to December, play one at a time, see if there's going to be a sell-off in, in the next few weeks. That, that really hits the, the VIX index. All right, let's go on. I wanted to show you. So gold has pulled back very sharp. You remember, I, I don't want to go through it again. I discussed this camel double hump, <laughs> MACD and stochastic pattern. It's worked out well. Um, yes, we're still long for subscribers to my opening call um, of the GDX. But most importantly, we're looking at this peak and the continuous contracts of the, the, the price is going to change. The high of the 16th was at 1879.5. Uh, it's trading right now at 17.87, uh, almost 100 points lower. Is that correct? Wow. Yeah. 90, 90 to 100 points lower. And I've got the, the, the support that I said was that right, I said between initially 18 as we were coming down yesterday i said 1815 to 1803 uh, because the nine period the 200 period moving average is at 1806 but in fact it could go a little low but if it takes out 18 i think oh it was yesterday so i'm not sure i, I thought i'd say 1785 we did go lower this morning to 1783.9 the reason why I said that is because if you look at the weekly chart, let me just discuss this. There's no rush today. We're just everything will take our time. There's a Chapman wave uh, pattern that I call the inverse falling axe. That means you've had a, a 
from the from the lows that are made, you can make a straight line to the downside. And then you can say, oh, nice rally. You're making higher lows and much higher highs. And then there's a turnaround. The turnaround goes not to a peak A or a B for the dreaded H pattern, but in fact, it goes to a C or a D. And at that point, you start to pull down. And my theory of this particular pattern, I haven't kind of inverted it yet for the falling axe, the regular old falling axe. Let me just show you the two patterns. Otherwise, we're not talking apples to apples. So this is the pattern that I used to use initially. It was the pattern that I said looks like a falling axe. He has the axe handle. He has the blade. The expanding blade looks like a cone, expanding cone. And then all of a sudden, it makes lower highs and much lower lows. And then suddenly, it finds a base of support, and it breaks out, and it takes out that trend line resistance. And that becomes... A propellant for the upside, you can go in the same number of bars, but most importantly, the same angle, degree of, of angle towards the left side high. And that's where how you test the left side high is most important. Well, it turns out that you can also do it upside down. Look, you can do this. I just turn the whole slide upside down, even the left wing's upside down. You come down, 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 straight line, and then you go to higher lows and much higher highs. My rule of thumb is that the dreaded H pattern, the one that looks like this, is when you come down at a peak A or B, you make a turnaround and you take out that left side low. My theory, though, is that when, in fact, you, you come down after making a peak C or a peak D, because you've had so much strength, it raises the base of support, and most of the time, you might touch the left side low, but you don't usually break it or don't close below it. If you do, that's very serious. Well, the, the gold contract weekly did exactly what we were planning. It, it said it went up, it went up, and it pulled back. It took out the support line, and kaboom, it went down, and it just broke that left side low, but then it quickly shot back up. And then what did it do? It took its time and time, 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 and then it broke above this trend. This trend line is now so important. Think of it that way. Let me just, uh, no, I won't do anything here. But what I am saying is that I was basing it on these moving averages here. Now you can see we've gone under it, 17.88. We're at right now $17 in gold. That makes this whole area strong resistance. So we've gone from an arch formation to a second arch formation. The lowercase h has gone into a lowercase m. How does it hold support on the right side? Does it take out key support levels? And now we're looking at this support level right here. 5th of November, 1758.5 in the continuous contract. The uh, 1st of October, the week of the 1st of October, 1721. Now I can draw a trend line. Oh, it's starting to get messy. I, I don't like it, but I've got this as teaching tools, so I'll keep it even though it's messy as long as I explain it. And that says you've got a trend line here. You've got the Chapman Wave inside track. There are propellant zone. If it takes it out, that is really negative. And right in here is where gold needs to make a stand. It needs to show support right on this line. And that can go to this week. The line goes down to 1771. <laughs> That's 18 points from here. So this is a very critical moment for um, this is a very critical moment for the gold. Now, what I had to just I'll do this very briefly is that the gold <clears throat> market vectors, gold miners ETF, the GDX at 3256, up 44 cents, had a high of 35.08. I should just mention we're well along from the. Uh, 30, from the 30.74 area. <clears throat> so, it's, you know, two points is not the same as it was. 10% now is less. It's about 7.5%, 8%. But look at this doji candle. It's attempting to find some support. And that's going to be really important. So for this particular pattern, it's going to be a little messy. I don't care. Here we go. From this low, 28.83. Look, look how many times we've hit exactly. Look, from the low on the 27th of September, we hit that exact low about the 3rd of October, higher low, then exactly to the penny, right there, the trend line support of the 3rd of November at 30.96. And that says, watch it. Now I can do this. I can make this red. I can make this green. And in the Chapman methodology, got another very simple tool. Look how quickly that took, what, about uh, 20 seconds? And here we are. 
We've got our support level. So on a daily basis, you've got today, it's 32.37 and 32.20. By tomorrow, it's rising, so it's a little higher. This is the area now that has to hold and start to see some kind of a rally in gold. Let's look at silver. SI, silver is trading. <clears throat> Elizabeth. Well, was that show that I used to watch years ago? Elizabeth, guy used to put his hand on his heart. Um, look at that. Silver is down 3.59%, down 87 cents at 23.42. That is, that is, look at this. You've taken out any support level you want on the daily chart. You've taken it out on the weekly chart. This is ugly. And, and silver has this way of looking a little better than gold sometimes. And then all of a sudden turns around and looks terrible. Um, I'm looking at this and I'm saying, let's now be careful. I think the dollar is actually the lead, even though it's in leg deep. I'll be back in a moment. We've got a bunch of questions coming in and I will, oh, 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 I have to move this away to see what the question was. Yeah, Sanford and Son, I remember that. All right, I'll be back. Dow's down 18. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. So, uh, a couple of technical questions that I used to do on, on Friday came in. I'm going to deal with them right now because this is such a critical period. As far as I'm concerned, I've been talking about that for uh, about two, three weeks now, so I may as well just deal with it right now so all right is nikkei in the chapman wave methodology uh, the typical or perfect drop bucket pattern 
Yes, it is. It's like the dreaded H, but upside down. It's the reverse Y. And we got to the test of Nick and Nike. 179.10 was the high around about the, the 5th or so of November. It pulled back under the 14 period moving average, which meant, and I, I didn't do this, I did type it in red, but, but I should have put the down arrow, which meant that it went to in the daily chart to a sell mode. Not the weekly, weekly still peak D and holding and leg D in the monthly chart at an all time high in that 179.10 uh, high. But then it made a cup formation, and the cup formation can find it right there has got the, the the reason why I call this the drop bucket pattern is it looks like a backhoe look at that long arm of the backhoe there's the bucket it lifts up all the gravel and everything and then it just dumps it so I, I nicknamed these things that's why none of this will ever be in the in the in the Hall of Fame which they should be uh, because I nicknamed them if I gave it a very sophisticated title uh, it would be everywhere. So, no, no, it's the drop bucket pattern. What is it that? That's the double top pattern. The, the failure of 179.10 on one side, 177.75. MAGD's weak, stochastic's very weak, on balance volume's pulling back. But I developed another tool that said, wait, before you get too carried away with this particular pattern, there are things that you've got to consider. And in this particular instance, look, the 9 is still way above the 14, and that says there's inner strength. And until that 9 goes sharply below the 14, and that would say that Nike is trading under 168, probably 167, probably has to even take out the left side low of the 11th of 166.63. It's only a nickname, a drop bucket pattern. But all the ingredients are there to say, hoo hoo, be careful. This is starting to show signs of weakness on the right side as opposed to what it was doing on the left. I hope that answers you. That's number one. Number two is um, over the past, Basil, over the past, uh, what is it? let me see if I can read. Yeah, over the past uh, two weeks or three weeks, you've been talking about a lot of these patterns based just on the Chapman Wave methodology, but not on other technicals to give sell signals, and it looks like you've hit quite a few. Uh, yeah, okay, so I, I'll talk about that. I don't really want to talk about it right now because we're still in the process, but you know what? You asked the question. I-N-D-U. I-N-D-U. The Dow on, what was it, two, three, four Mondays, one, two, three Mondays ago, I think it was, on the 8th of, well, it can't be three, if it's two. Yeah, but whatever it is. On the 11th of, on the 8th of November, at 30, when the market had this sudden early morning spike, I said, we're going to go short the Dow. We've been long, but now we're going to go short on the short term because we're still holding our core position long from way back last year at about 211 in the in the diamonds. They're trading at this point, actually, they're trading at three, uh, 360, so 350 something, 356. Um, and I said, we're going to go to the short side. So we got that within 40 points of the all-time high, and we pulled back sharply. We just got stopped out, and then it tumbled. So yes, we were right, but no, we were wrong. We were right in the sense that the timing, everything about it, I said, the MACD's good, the stochastic's good, everything about it except the fact that I believe that the candle is almost a doji candle the day before, leg F I'm calling it, Everything about it looks like it's an F. My 120-minute chart is getting overbought. I'm, I, that's what we want to do. So, yes, that was a perfect sell, uh, 40 points from the 36,565 high. And then I said the Dow is now in a sell mode. It is, at the moment, still in a sell mode on the daily. The weekly has only just turned down. I can't even talk about it until Friday at 4 o'clock. I don't know where it's going to close, but so far it hasn't given me a sell signal yet. All right, so it's just daily, short term I'm talking about. Um, the next thing was, I actually wasn't the next thing, this was the first thing. You remember crude oil? We went short perfectly about a point and a half or two points off the 85.41 October the 25th uh, recovery high. And we had a nice a nice trade there, but we got it, we got stopped out there again. The stop was maybe a little too tight. We got stopped out, we still had a nice gain. And now that crude oil is trading it had 75s, and now it's at 77.75. Uh, 
So it's uh, eight, nine points lower than it was. And it says to me that crude oil is in a uh, consol big consolidation. It'll get a deeper consolidation if it closes under 73. But right now, it's more in a sideways, slightly lower lows and slightly lower highs pattern as we speak. The arch formation in the weekly chart, it does look I'm gonna, like I'm going to be able to give a, an upgrade to it based on the weekly chart, but we haven't got the yet. Um, next thing was, uh, let's see. Oh, so the, the QQQ, one, two, three. On Friday, was it Friday? Yeah, on Friday, because of the doji candle on Thursday, leg D, and the fact that I was looking at the MACD here, the left side, right side, said that the high that was made at 400.99, also on the 5th of November, um, pulling back quite sharply, but then starting to recover with the Chapman falling axe breakout and the cup formation said, there's a chance we could go a little higher, but we wanted to go short on Friday. The Qs were the inverse, which is what we did. And yesterday we got just got stopped out, but I said we're going right back in, and we got back in, and we are short the QQQ. Right on the day of the high at 408.71, that's when all that activity was, and we are going to try to stay short at least for a little while, and now the Qs are down 3.22 with 396.07. I, I didn't really want to, question came up, but in disclosure, what can I say? That you know, I'm going to get rid of all this because it, it met all the criteria we're looking at, uh, removed. Um, and now what we're looking at is within the context of the QQQ NDX 100, is this a leg G? Is this the, the same pattern I was talking about before, That the same as the S&P back in the summer of 2007 and then that big rally that no one believed in October that gave us just a fantastic sell signal with just the two peaks to the upside, one peak to the upside, the same double camel hump <laughs> activity? I don't know. All I can say is that the Qs are a little bit, on any basis, are a little bit overbought. Whether they become sharply um, overbought in the sense that they start to follow the other indices that are weak, like the Dow and then the IWM, we'll see soon enough because the MACD in the weekly chart is still very good. And the stochastics flatted 91%. On balance volume did make a little double top. So it's all up to the chart at this particular point, and the monthly chart is still very strong. So all I can say is we will see soon enough whether or not this is going to be activity that so far between yesterday, that sudden sell-off after making an all-time high at 408.71, and today's continuation to the downside, whether I'm correct or not. We'll do the same thing with the SMHs, the semiconductor index down to 0.02. Uh, with our short position on um, Friday was good. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. 
Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, everyone. Bowser Chapman we're back. Dow's down 40, SP's down, down 15. Uh, so what we're looking at here is the 303.85 level of the SMHs right now. You know, yesterday it hit 318. So let's just go through. So what I drew, and I showed subscribers to my opening call this morning, I said, look, this is why why we wanted to be short. This is what it is. Uh, we, we're not short the SMHs. We actually short the inverse um, uh, three times uh, short. Um, we got a position there. So what I said was this inside track repellent zone, look how it went beautifully into it once. That was how I got that line. And then again on yesterday. And then it spiked up to 318.82. And it suddenly, I don't even know what the news was yesterday because we had Powell, the news on Powell, so the market was good. And then out of the blue, just as a beautiful trade, if you were right at your computer. But more importantly, we closed at the low. And that we haven't seen for, look at this. Look at this, this is the SMHs. We have not closed. We've had ugly candles down back in October, but we have not had a candle like this where you actually closed at the low. Look, there's one right there. It was within a day or two of, uh, of, of the low of 249.35 back in August, having gone from August the 5th at 271 down to 249. I'd say, what is it, 27 points, something like that. Um, that 71, 29, 30, yeah, yeah, something like that. Uh, w w that that's a big move. Um, so I'm looking to see, is this going to be something like the same? All of a sudden, we get a big green, green candle uh, tomorrow or the next day. Well, I don't know. All I can say is that so far, if you do look at this, I guess I should have shown this earlier on. Look, the 120-minute chart made yet another peak D right there at a high. The uh, QQQ made a peak. Oh, I had that in. I, had, I forgot to retype re it. I had it in yesterday and then I, I for some reason I haven't got my automated numbers you know that I have um, in some of my in the program that was written for me by uh, late Herb Brun. Um, I just I don't know what happened and I tried to save it I couldn't save it I tried to put it back and I haven't been able to put it back that's just right here for my subscribers I'm opening call that's the 120 minute chart had the chapman wave automated uh, support and resistance lines, just like I can see right there in the in the daily chart. But I don't know what happened. I and I haven't been able to get it back. And even when I went to one that is automated, and I turned into 120, it didn't want to do that. Ah, oh, I don't know what's going on. I hope this isn't a big problem um, because I'm not even sure how to even fix it. But there's the QQQ peak F. Look at that beautiful turnaround back into the rectangle formation. Look at the uh, what did I want to show you? I mean, oh, gold, look at this, gold goes all the way to a peak D right there that makes makes this arch formation, a rectangle formation can last a lot longer than your patience. Look at this, look at this, oh, and then suddenly it takes it out, and bam, it goes all the way down, 
and now it goes down 20. Uh, dollar was going higher and it was short. Oh, I haven't got it notated. I had it notated. Uh, that was a bank A, B, C. Uh, that was a D right there, and that was an E, and it said an E with a, oh, I mean, that's an F right there. So the dollar is saying on the 120 minute chart, getting a little bit toppy just on the 120 minute chart, and we, we go on from there. And, and that just goes through with so many of the different patterns that we're looking at. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of cautious, you can tell. I'm kind of cautious. I've been taking, we've been taking profits in some of our positions, raising stops. I'm not taking a loss on something that has a gain. We just get out of break even at worst. Just not prepared to do that. Now, what's really interesting is, look, A is Agile Technologies. We've been in since 70.69 back in April of last year. Taking lots of little bits off, but on this last rally, even though it would have been one of the best gains, uh, having gone to the 165.68 level with an open round number of 165, on the 22nd with a red candle and then all of a sudden inch a day there is this is crazy what happened was inch a day good news about earnings and everything about it this is in scientific solutions for labs and businesses and what's happened lately is that when stocks are rallying because they have so so called good good technicals uh, the good have good earnings potential when the earnings come out because they've rallied so sharply they pull back well this pull back six almost seven points to 156 the low today is 153 um, and we are still long I don't know what to do right now there's a chance we're going to start getting rid of some of the stocks that have been fantastic I just don't know I need another day or two so with that said yes I in the den I will look at EPAM but at first I have to go to I'd like to go to Mark in Fort Collins Mark in Fort Collins how are you Hey, Basil, we talked about this, I think, and you said to call back maybe this week, and <clears throat> we're looking yes. at Square, and it, I'm looking for support in the mid-190s, like that next left side low. Um, what do you think? Or low 190s so, almost. Mm. So, you know, there was a stock, I, th I believe you and I spoke about this a long time ago. In fact, I, I wasn't even going to talk about it, but you just brought this to mind. Do you remember there was a stock, DKNG? And yeah. that is DraftKings. <laughs> yeah. And I had said to you, both of us said everything about it should be so good. Why is it acting so badly? And then when it made that peak D in the weekly chart below the peak F that was up in the 74s back in something like March or April, had a sharp pullback under 40, and then it went all the way to um, uh, the 64, 65 area. And I said, this is and started to pull back. I said, this is something wrong. Online gambling, for goodness sake, surely this should be doing fantastically. I mean, everybody's doing. I suspect that between Bitcoin and um, between Bitcoin and probably. Oh, I, 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 I don't want to say something out of turn because I'm really just guessing. But between Bitcoin and gold. All those people that traded short term, this is kind of the stock that I think a lot of those people, especially online gambling, this is kind of in the metier, in the kind of vernacular that they like. And I suspect that the gambling for this particular DraftKings format is just not working out. There's just too much other competition in the world of gambling, and it might even be, it might be because of gaming. If you look at Roblox, RBLX, um, typed it in the wrong place. Give me one second here, RBLX. I mean, look at that big move that it had to a peak E yesterday. Uh, it's been performing very well, and I suspect that there's just at this particular point too much comp. Oh, I was going to also mention, nearly forgot, the stock market is also in the same spectrum. So I might be right off the wall because I don't have any proof. It's just my gut feeling. I think they're having a tremendous amount of competition elsewhere. It's not internal, it's elsewhere. So all I can say is that um, that was the analysis that you didn't ask for, but I want you to put it into the pie and say, well, wait a minute, 
if your theory is that a stock that has everything going for it is not working, then what's going on? Well, Square, point of sale, software, uh, uh, managing receipts, I think that fits exactly into that same area. So if you want to hold on one second uh, for the break, I, I'll talk about it because I think we're getting close to where that will be the, the big moment to see whether or not Square Inc. is able to hold support or if this is going to go tummy. Can you hold? Yep. Sharpening Welcome your back. skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis the tiger first mortgage program may be the program for you the best rate on a five-year cd in the country right now according to bankrate.com is paying one percent per year or one thousand dollars per one hundred thousand dollars invested the tiger first mortgage program pays seven percent per year paid monthly on secured high value buildable properties in st petersburg florida the investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, everyone. So what I want you to say, uh, Mark, is that Square has made this arch formation, beautiful peak here, 289.23 back on the week of the 6th of August. Then it made an arch formation after it pulled back to 222, and it ran up to 270 at a peak, see with a long-legged doji candle, and then it just tumbled. So the dreaded H pattern has gone to a second iteration. I'm just going to say, why don't you hold off? Let's look at it because it's coming to the 202 190s and that's just so key if it breaks under that at any point in the next week the, all i can say is there's just something very wrong i hope that helps you yeah it does i was there's a lot of left side uh low points right around the 190 192 area and then Correct. there's a Ab big candle absolutely. back on uh, 1102 of 2020 that has a high of 201 and the, uh, the the trend line support in the weekly comes in at about that 195 area. Let's see what happens. I wouldn't rush right now. Hey, thanks so much for calling. Thank you. Bye. So, folks, EPAM, I had a question in the den about it. EPAM, uh, hi, Basil, several weeks ago you reviewed EPAM. 
and now it is hitting lower, where would you see some level of support to enter again? So this is the same as squared made a peak D in this case, 725.24, and I, I can't remember, what, EPAM Systems Inc. And then it's made the art formation. I call that a phantom C, so that went to the D. And now we're looking at the key support of the gap. I'm just going to say to you, hold off. It's the same as squared. It's got the arch formation. Just hold off. I would not be rushing, and I need it at this particular point to also talk about, uh, because a number of people asked me about the R Rivian. Uh, had a big move from 95.25 low, the IPO. Five days later, four days later, it's hitting the 100. It's unbelievable. 179 area on the 16th, and now it's pulled back. It's at 140. Remember what I said? Treat it almost like an option. Every time it makes you some money, take that money off and build up a kitty because at some point you'll have a much better run. But at this point, it's way too volatile. Folks, stay tuned. We've got great programming coming up, certainly, with. Uh, uh, all, all the all lineup that we've got. Stay tuned. I'll be back with Tom at three o'clock this afternoon. And thank you for.